Peace be with you. In the Quran, in the second chapter of the Quran, Surah Baqarah, verse 155, we're told, And surely we will try you with somewhat of fear and hunger and loss of property and lives and fruits, so give good news to the patient. So this is a promise God makes to us, and I wanted to talk a little bit about these emotions that we are going to be tested with, and I want to talk about fear a little bit. So I want to talk about how this may look like and how it looked like to people before us. And as an example, I'm going to use the magicians or the priests of the Pharaoh, which had a duel with Moses. And this is described in the 20th chapter of the Quran, Surah Taha. So the, the preceding verses describe their duel, right? They, they do their magic and Moses beats them. And then in the 70, 70th verse, we're told, And the magicians were cast down, prostrating themselves, and they said, We believe in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. So they realize, you know, that this is really a messenger of God, and they prostrate themselves. But what happens next? In the 71st verse, we're told, And the Pharaoh told them, You believe in him before I gave you permission? Most surely he is your leader and taught you magic. Therefore, I will certainly cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will certainly crucify you on the trunks of the palm trees, and certainly you will come to know which one is more severe and more lasting in punishment. So now he's accusing them of being liars, he's accusing them of being traitors, and he says, I'm going to kill you, and that is fear. When a person such as the Pharaoh, who, murder, who was so racist that he murdered the male children of a whole population, you know he's not above killing, right? You know he'll kill you for nothing. And then he gives this threat to the to these uh, people who just converted. They just converted to Islam. They prostrated and they said, we believe in God. They basically said their own version of the Shahada, right? And then in the 72nd to 74th verse, we're told what they answered. They said, we do not prefer you to what has come to us of clear arguments and to he who made us. Therefore, decide what you are going to decide. You can only decide about this world's life. Surely we believe in our Lord that he may forgive us our sins and the magic to which you compelled us to, which you made us do. And God is better and more abiding. Whoever comes to his Lord guilty for him is surely hell. He will not die therein, nor shall he live. So this is a pattern that is repeated throughout history. And you can, you know, you can look at several cultures where disobedience to a certain uh, dogma was punishable by death. And you can see even that uh, in some countries that call themselves Muslims or some cultures that have called themselves Muslims before. But this has been the case throughout ages. And there will be people who have their own version of how things should be, and they will abandon the path of God and threaten you with death or, or worse. We see a milder for, uh, version of this in the West now, like cancel culture, right? You say something about Islam, you say something about, uh, like, you, as a Muslim, and they will demonize you, they will accuse you of being evil, they will accuse you of being a terrorist. So that is a milder form of fear than what these people experienced. So the lesson here is, fear is fear, and you will feel it, but with the understanding of God, understanding the the passing nature of this world's life, we all need to come to that realization that, Obeying God is more important than obeying dictators or, or some of the, these rulers like this. The last thing, verse I'm going to quote is from the 10th chapter of the Quran, verse 83. And it says, But none believed in Moses except the offspring of his people, on account of fear of Pharaoh and his chiefs, lest he should persecute them. Most surely Pharaoh was lofty in the land, and most surely he was of the extravagant. So what happened to these people that followed the Pharaoh out of fear? They were destroyed in this world, and they will suffer in the hereafter. Fear is real, but it is not a reason enough to abandon the path of God. Peace be with you.